We've got another one for my client, LBG Electrical Communications, today. Uh, they're based out of St. Charles, and we contacted a roofing company basically in the backyard uh, that we're going to be a resource for them. We're moving the solar panels on the commercial or residential work that they come across, and that should be a start of a good relationship, and more support is going their way. I've got a pretty good appointment for my client out in uh, Milwaukee today. It's Aviation Training Center. Uh, the guy's not happy with his current MSP. Uh, two locations, little somewhere between 23 and 25 users, cloud-based. Looking for a meeting. I scheduled them tomorrow morning at 9.30 a.m. Uh, we're really excited about this one. Got one set up today for my client up in Winnipeg. It's a law society up there. They have about 50 users. Uh, they just wanted to take a meeting with, the, with our owner and see how we can stack up to their current MSP. Joe, what do we got today? We got seven feet. Woo! Who wants to talk about it? Well, maybe uh, Nick leading the pack with two. <laughs> yeah, I have uh, one appointment for Dorothy G Gale this morning, and another appointment for uh, RNK Roofing. So, uh, Dorothy Gale, it's an Italian restaurant. Uh, Ooh, booked fancy. it on July 11th. Um, they have some cracked tiles at the front of the building, and they wanted, they had it for 16 years, wanted to do something different. Uh, don't want to do tiles, but want some sort of, uh, something else that will capture that rustic, old school Italian restaurant look. And then the second one, I went ahead and booked it for Monday. That is for R&K Roofing. I spoke to a property manager yesterday, had a, I was already building a good relationship with him uh, just from that conversation. He was interested in learning more about us, getting our info. And he calls me and emails me back today uh, with a job for this whole commercial shopping plaza. So this is going to be five businesses in one or, or something like that. Uh, five of the businesses have leaks or so. And he wants uh, an estimate. Uh, two separate estimates, actually, and uh, he will be the on-site immediate contact, but all the final decisions will go through the shopping plaza's owner, and he says that he can usually communicate with him. He's usually very responsive, so they want to get the bowling on, ball rolling on this pretty quickly. Good Thank you. Who else? Good one. Aaron? Aaron? Epstein? Oh, yeah, there he is. I got one this morning for AM Data. I'll be honest, it was a really quick call. Um, 15 users from the cloud. Uh, from previous notes, they had an external IT person, got in touch with the executive assistant who oversees the IT. I was like, hey, did I catch you at a bad time? She was like, yeah, I'm in the middle of a meeting right now, but what's going on? Can you call me back later today? And I was like, I can do you one better. And I can have Tom call you back this afternoon just to discuss and told her what we were calling for. You know, we were trying to be additional resource to teams. Um, and so she said, yeah, have Tom give me a call. I love it. And honestly, like for those situations, it's like she knew what I was calling for. I know it was a quick conversation, but since she knew, there's got to be a need there. So uh, they meet an hour from now. Great job. I know you, you've been going through a little dry spell for a couple of days, last week into Monday. And you just showed up, kept at it, and what's two in a row now? You've gotten yeah, in two it days? really pissed me off. <laughs> <laughs> so, so great Thank job, you. way to keep fighting through. Thank you. Uh, who else? Appointments, proposals. I got a uh, late one last night at the buzzer for Volantech. Uh, it's a big bank out of Spokane with, uh, he said, 50 users, two locations, and 14 servers. I used a uh, trick that Tanner said yesterday. The notes said he wanted to call back in six months to talk about maybe setting up a meeting. And this was two months since that last call when I called him yesterday and said, hey, listen, you wanted us to reach out to you about this time to see if we can carve out a minute to speak with our guy over here, see how we can help you. And he's like, well, let's go ahead and meet up and see what kind of resources you can provide me for sure. Nice. Ooh. Good job. Big day. Yeah, so I, 
had a partner meeting yesterday um, with RPM and you know, just talking with them. They ended up getting out two uh, two proposals. Don't know about the second one, the, the amount, but the first one's for uh, 1,080 MRR. So. Nice. Uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't put it in yet, but I just talked to Metro Networks. Uh, they got a proposal out for 4,600 for phones. Jeez. Pretty good one. How many phones is that? My God. Uh, I don't know. He said it was uh, it was only 13 phones, but I think there's something else in that contract. Sounds like because I'm like, yeah, that's pretty high. Pretty gold phones. Yeah. yeah. So we'll see. Yeah. We'll see a follow up. Scotty, I saw Scotty got a couple of proposals for low BG. Is he? Oh, there he is. Yep. Uh, one for 110000 for a waste management system or a waste management company. We actually talked to them yesterday to go over the proposal. Um, and it looks like they will probably be moving forward. We just got to figure out a way to get it down just a tad bit there. So we're working on that. And then uh, DKD Trucking, the lady was all for uh, trying to do solar so that just went out today so we'll know uh, within the next week or so kind of where they're at as well and then just got an appointment with as well for oh, next yeah. week to potentially do solar on their administration building and then the other 20 to 30 buildings that they have we're going to look at as well <laughs> Hey guys, Dakota here over at Arsenal. I was able to get a meeting set up for M&D. Uh, they specialize in wealth management. Was able to talk to a company out in Pittsburgh. Uh, they are actually looking for a rebrand here in the next year of their website. They're looking to get moved up on their rankings of Google. So we're gonna go in there with M&D and see what we can do to help them out and revamp that website. Uh, yeah, I sent one out uh, for my client in Buffalo today. Um, turns out we uh, dismissed the boat for them for um, a contract in. However, they are always shopping around. So they were looking uh, to see what services we may be able to offer to kind of fill in some gaps. And they've got about 50, 65 users. So uh, I've got some information sent their way and we're going to meet up with them after the four. Got a pretty good appointment for my client in uh, Sandusky, Ohio today. Uh, it was actually a guy we spoke to uh, a couple of years ago. He uh, knew our name right off the bat, and um, uh, we got him um, on a phone call. Um, I think it's next Thursday, uh, next Thursday at 2. Uh, Going to kind of refresh his memory and uh, see if we can be an option for him in the future. They're having some issues with their current guys. So i got about uh, 40 computers over there, one server. Uh, looks like it's they have two. Uh, it's one company and they have a sister company as well. So we could probably get two and one. So we're going to send them out next Thursday and see if we can help out. So pretty good one.